Hello and welcome again. Um, I wanted to look at uh, this passage of the Bible um, because it has been... Uh, it, it, I've heard a lot of messages concerning it, but some explanation hasn't been given. Um, and I'll just go right into it because um, we just go right into the Word. Um, in Matthew chapter 15, Jesus met a woman um, and after calling her, saying that, that the children's bread are not supposed to be given to the dogs... The woman says in verse uh, 27, she said, And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. And then Jesus now says in the next verse, O woman, great is thy faith. What does that, that sentence that the woman said, crumbs, that the dogs eat from the crumbs, why did Jesus say that that is, that is great faith? Because faith, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So her, her sentence was a presentation of the faith that she had in her heart. But how was that sentence fit? So, now, if you bake, you know that a crumb of bread contains everything the main bread, a slice of bread, or the main bread, the main loaf contains. So if the main loaf has egg, the crumb has egg. If the main loaf has flour, the crumb has flour. If the main loaf has water, the crumb has water. So everything that is in the main loaf or the main uh, or, or in the, the slice of the bread is also in the crumb. So when G, when the woman said, "I know that you're not going to you, you don't want to give me because I'm I'm not a child, right?" But even the dogs eat from the crumb. Do you get it now? So she's saying that the crumb, the healing that is in the bread is also in the crumb. So, I don't want the bread, give me the crumb. And, and, and this, is, uh, this is how a lot of people uh, were, were raised. A lot of people didn't have, they didn't have bread, they had crumb. They didn't have all the riches. They were raised in abject poverty. But that crumb was, the, the thing they saw as a disadvantage was actually an opportunity for greatness. If David wasn't raised in the wilderness and didn't kill uh, the, the lion and the bear and all of that, he won't be ready for Goliath. If Joseph didn't go through uh, the struggle and be sold as a slave and all of that, he wouldn't have gotten to the palace. So many a times, we want bread, but God is giving us crumb because he's saying, if you go through the wilderness and learn, and learn to live with little, and, and, and this is a sign they are anointed. There is the, 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 the point that you use little and make great out of little. David used five stones. Uh, Samson used the jawbone of an ass. Jesus used five fish, five loaves of bread and two fish. So it is the ability to use little and make much of little that is a sign of the anointing. That is a sign that God has called you. So God allows his people sometimes to, to, to get crumbs so that they can realize that in that bad situation is your opportunity. In that bad situation is actually everything you wanted in the bread is in the crumb. So do not give up and say, oh, I, I don't have the bread. All I have is crumb. All I have is this bad situation. All I have is this evil thing. All I have is this and that and that. Your opportunity is in your crumb, is in your struggle, is in the thing that you thought that you did not have. And actually, you did not need what you don't have. The woman that had uh, the, the oil, she borrowed vessels and poured out of what she had. You don't need what you don't have. That's the truth. All you need is with you. The guy had five loaves, two fish. Jesus took it, multiplied it. First of all, submit what you have first. Before you start looking for what you don't have. So the woman understood that all I need is the crumb. I might not have the big blessing and the big breakthrough and all of that. But if I can get the crumb. And many of you understand what I'm saying. Many of you, all your life, all you've had is crumb. All you've had is crumb. All you survive with is crumb. You've had little, you've had less, but you've made much out of it. Glory to God. Thank you for listening again. Um, Till next time. Goodbye.